Cecilia, there you go. All the policies that are underway were not helping at all, did not slow up the amount of immigration and as many people coming. And rolling back the policies of separating children from their, from their mothers, I make no apology for that. Rolling back the policies of uh, remain in Mexico, sitting on the edge of the Rio Grande in a muddy circumstance with not enough to eat, I make no apologies for that. The idea that I'm going to say, which I would never do, that if an unaccompanied child ends up at the border, we're just going to let him starve to death and stay on the other side. No previous administration did that either, except Trump. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But no other country in the world has even come close, not even close. And today, I went to, for example, I used all the resources available to me, went to the Defense Department, and, and the, the Secretary of Defense has just made available Fort Bliss, 5,000 beds. Be immediately available, 5,000 beds in the Texas border. So we're building back up the capacity that should have been maintained and built upon that Trump dismantled. It's going to take time. If you take a look at the number of people who are coming, the vast majority, the overwhelming majority of people coming to the border and crossing are being sent back, are being sent back. Is here, and hope is on the way. Now, I'll be thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.